Hello everybody, my name is Kenna McKee and I'm here to do the Devo with you today. So, um, my title is The Day of Trouble and I was just reading through the, the Psalms and I remember when I first got saved or my early walk, I didn't really get the Psalms. They seemed very dramatic and so sad and this and that. And then uh, life took me through different seasons and I've learned to just love the Psalms. And so um, where I'm gonna be is Psalms 20. I'm gonna read the whole thing, it's nine verses, so one through nine, and then I'll just kind of share what I have, so. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the Lord of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and, and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according, according to your heart's desire and fulfill you, fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, may the king answer when we call. And um, it just was really encouraging because I was kind of reading the commentary and obviously this was, um, you know, King David in a time of battle. And um, the commentary was just kind of saying, you know, we can always give thanks. And even though we're not in a physical um, battle where we're going to war and our lives are at stake, um, we're in a spiritual battle, battle where people's spiritual lives are at stake. And, you know, some... If you're like me, sometimes my biggest troubleshooting I have to deal with is my own pride. It's just me dying to self every day and submitting to the Lord and what he wants for me. And and it just it's it's so encouraging to to read who God is and what he does and it's a lot easier to submit when we remember who we're submitting to and why, you know, because he paid a hefty price for our lives and, and we know he's gonna do what he wants us to do or he's gonna accomplish what he wants to accomplish and we can just um, uh, stand firm in that and stand confident in that. And I know even sometimes just with my own pride, it's, you know, if it's about sharing with somebody or just saying something, it's, oh, I don't, you know, my pride or, uh, how, how am I going to look or what if they don't respond or, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's always about me in the end. And it, it just, it shouldn't be. It should be about what I'm doing for the Lord. And, and sometimes our day of trouble is, you know, financial things, um, marriage things are healthy. There's just so many things, but this is, you know, when we really stop and think what we're here for. It's to help the Lord save souls, to, to, to lead them. We're not the Holy Spirit, but we can, you know, do our part. And so, um, just to kind of, for me, get over myself and do what he asks because he is faithful in these battles, in this spiritual battle, battle that we're in, you know, it's not about what president is in place or what bombs we have, you know, it's just, it's, you know, cause you can just think of this wide range of things that could you know, bring us fear in this day of trouble. There's just so many things. Um, when you watch the news, it's just, it's crazy. And that's why I don't watch it. So um, anyways, that's just my little encouragement for you today that God is with us no matter what battle we're, we're in and how intense it is, how scary it seems. God is with us and he is for us and he saves. And we are on the the side that, but we have risen and stand upright. We can do that in Christ. And so I hope you guys are encouraged and go out and be bold for Jesus today. And I'm going to pray and I'll see you guys next time. Father, we just love you and we thank you. We thank you for your strength, Father, and not ours, Lord. Help us to lean on you and not ourselves, Father. Help me and my brothers and sisters out there to just lay down our daily battles at your feet and trust that you are faithful and we love you. And I just lift this up in Jesus name. Amen.